All right, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Now, if you watched my video two weeks ago, we set up the Jellyfish Art Two Gallon Jellyfish Aquarium. It's an all-in-one kit that gets you 100% ready to keep live pet jellyfish. Well. Today is the day the jellyfish are arriving. So about two weeks ago, we set up the jellyfish tank, got it all ready to go, got it start cycling. Well, I went ahead and took live bacteria in basically ceramic media from my 120 gallon reef tank, put it in the jellyfish tank, added some blue leg hermit crabs and a snail, which allowed the tank to jumpstart on cycling. Now, obviously we had to make sure the tank was cycled before we went ahead and ordered the jellyfish because these jellyfish do come in the mail overnight shipping so we have to make sure our tank is ready for the jellyfish before we order the jellyfish so i'm gonna go ahead and throw you back to some footage where we tested the water and got the food ready to make sure we were 100 percent ready for these jellyfish flashback okay so just like a freshwater aquarium or even a saltwater aquarium we obviously have to make sure the tank is cycled before we can get our jellyfish so today i'm going to be using this saltwater master test kit by api now this test kit tests for ammonia nitrite nitrate and pH. Now that is what is most important to the jellyfish. They don't care about stuff like calcium or magnesium like corals. They just need to make sure that there is clean water that is ammonia free, nitrite free, and a little bit of nitrate but not too much. pH they're generally pretty good on as long as your pH stays stable. So to test this I'm going to take this little pipette, open up the jellyfish aquarium which you can't see it's off camera. I'm going to go ahead and suck up enough water in this little pipette and fill up each little test tube. It's gonna take a little bit, but this will help us get the exact five milliliters that we need, which is right up to that line, which will allow us to get the perfect measurements in to get the most accurate test results. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up all four little test tubes, and then we can start doing our tests. One eternity later. We are ready to test. Starting out with high range pH, we're gonna go ahead and do five drops right here. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cap the test tube and just mix it around. And then we'll just set this over here to sit. Next up is nitrite, same thing, five drops. Then we'll go ahead and cap this. Now I'm gonna do ammonia and nitrate. These are a little bit different. They require a little bit more drops and they actually have two bottles. So I'm gonna go ahead and test these real fast and then I'll come back with the results and hopefully our tank will be ready for jellies. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so it has been five minutes, which allows the tests enough time to go ahead and kind of set in if that makes sense. So I'm gonna move these around to the correct order and now we're gonna compare them to the color sheet that comes in the test kits. So if we line this up right here, it's a little bit harder for you to see, but pH is perfect at around 8.0. Ammonia is spot on at zero. Nitrite is spot on at zero, which is what you want. And then the way you know that your cycle is finished is when you start seeing nitrate in the aquarium. And as you can see, we have around 10 parts per million of nitrate. So that is absolutely perfect. Our tank is ready. And the reason we know it's ready is because there's no ammonia. What would happen is there would be a large ammonia spike that ammonia would be converted into nitrite and that nitrite would be converted into nitrate. And nitrate is the end of the cycle and you remove nitrate via a water change. So our tank is now completely cycled and ready for jellyfish. Okay, so now that we know we're ready for jellyfish, we need to start getting their food ready. So this is a brine shrimp hatchery, and here are the brine shrimp eggs we used to hatch the live brine shrimp to feed the jellyfish. So I'm gonna go fill this up with salt water. I'll just come down here, and I'm just gonna grab some salt water right out of the sump, because this salt water is already the perfect salinity to go ahead and hatch brine shrimp. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is get a little scoop and grab some of these out. We don't wanna get too much, but I'm gonna take these and then we're gonna dump them into the outer ring of this brine shrimp hatchery. Now what will happen is as the brine shrimp eggs hatch, the baby brine shrimp will swim to the middle where you can grab them out with this little net thing right here. Let me try to put the lid on with one hand. And there we go. Now we'll just zip this up and wait about two, three days and we should have a whole bunch of brine shrimp, which will be perfect because that's just about when our jellyfish will come in the mail. Okay, so now that we have the food ready for the jellyfish and we know the tank is cycled, I'm gonna throw you back to where we actually ordered the jellyfish. The moment it all happened when we clicked place order. Actually, I didn't even click place order. My coupon code wasn't covering shipping, so I had to call them. Then they placed the order manually, but you get the idea. Flashback. Okay, so I first navigated to Jellyfish Art, 
went to the shop tab and found the jellyfish packages. Now, because my aquarium is the Nano, I went ahead and selected the Nano jellyfish package. They have a whole bunch of different ones, but I selected the Nano, $102. And then this includes three small jellyfish, some jellyfish food, you know, just the basic stuff, nothing really crazy. And then just the basic shipping, which is about one to two day. Kind of depends on where you are. But I went ahead and added them to the cart and then simply just checked out. Okay, so today is the day. Today is Thursday. I ordered the jellyfish on Tuesday and they are out for delivery to day. Now as for the brine shrimp, there is a ton of brine shrimp in that thing. They're all hatched and ready to go. So I've been feeding them to my reef tank because there's obviously no jellyfish in the jellyfish tank. I can't put them in there quite yet. And you want to give the jellyfish about a day to acclimate and get used to the system before feeding them. Anyway, let's go check on the tank real quick because I did do a water change yesterday. And here is the jellyfish aquarium looking the exact same. Um, there is some stuff on the bottom. I don't know why it looks dirty like that. Like I mentioned, I did clean the tank yesterday. Did about a 50% water change and got it all good to go for today. Regardless, the tank is ready for the jellyfish and all we have to do now is wait for them to be delivered. I'm hoping it doesn't take too much longer because I don't want them sitting in the FedEx truck longer than they have to. A little longer than a few minutes later. And just like that, a few hours later, we have our live jellyfish in this box right here. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and open these guys up. And let's hope they all made it because they were delivered a little bit late and it was kind of hot. So I don't know how long they've been sitting in the truck, but we're about to find out if they're good. So just opening up the box, the first thing we have right here is acclimation instructions. Now I've already been over these, but it's super nice that they include them literally right there in case you forgot. Opening up the box, we have paperwork and a shipping label or not a shipping label, a package slip. That's what they're called. And then a nice styrofoam cooler. We have our jellyfish food right here, and then we have the jellyfish. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out right here. There's also some cold packs in there, which is good because it was kind of warm. And here are the three moon jellyfish. Um, all three of them look to be floating around in there, so they look to totally be doing fine. I'm gonna go ahead and actually cut the exterior bag off and then show you what they look like in the normal bag. So this large exterior bag is actually the bag we use for acclimating them, if that makes sense. We pour them into this bag and then slowly add water from the jellyfish tank into these guys to go ahead and acclimate them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these guys out and there they are. It's hard for you to see them because, well, they're clear. But I'm gonna go ahead and start acclimating these guys. I'll show you the whole process and then we'll get them in the tank and let them kind of vibe in there. So let's go ahead and head over to the tank. Okay, so the first thing I did was remove the lid to the aquarium and start removing some of the water. As we put the jellyfish bag in, it's going to displace some water. So I went ahead and removed a little bit of water that we're going to be using for acclimation. I just removed it ahead of time from the tank so the tank wouldn't overflow when we went ahead and put the bag in. So then I just took the shipping bag, stuck it in the aquarium just to float for around 5 minutes while I prepared the larger shipping bag. Then I got the larger shipping bag, I rolled it up put it in the aquarium and dumped all the contents, including the jellyfish from the smaller shipping bag into this main one. This main one is bigger, so it will allow us to dump more water from the actual aquarium into the bag without obviously having the bag overflow. So then every 10 minutes, I dumped about half a cup to three quarters of a cup of water from the aquarium into the jellyfish tank. This just allowed the jellyfish to slowly acclimate to my water. One hour later, then as soon as the jellyfish were acclimated, I went ahead and removed the large bag from the jellyfish aquarium as slow and as careful as possible because when you are adding these guys to the tank or handling these guys in general, you want to make sure you don't get any air bubbles underneath the bell, which is the top part of the actual jellyfish because it could cause them harm and cause them buoyancy issues as they kind of float around because jellyfish really just float. So you want to make sure you don't get any air bubbles under the bell. So I tried my absolute best when pulling these guys in. However, it was pretty difficult because I didn't want them falling on the floor. So there's a ton of air bubbles. It's fine. I made sure to double check them. They are going in there a little bit hot, but they are totally fine now. So they just kind of float around in a circle. And that's the whole idea with the current of this aquarium is it's designed to go ahead and stimulate the natural kind of flow of the jellyfish so they don't just sit stagnant on the bottom. I went ahead and cleaned up the tank and then finished topping it off with the water that we took out just to make sure the water level was at the correct amount for the jellyfish so we can maintain the salinity. Now that the jellyfish are in, I'm going to go ahead and give it some time to clear up and then we'll check back in on them and maybe even feed them some live baby brine shrimp. 
Okay, so it has been about two days. The jellyfish are still doing amazing in their tank, but let's go ahead and throw some food at them and you can kind of watch them eat, which they don't really eat. They eat very slow. It's kind of like a 20 minute thing. And then all of a sudden you see food inside of the jellyfish. It's weird, but let's go grab some baby brine shrimp. Okay, so I have a scoop of the brine shrimp. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it in the water and I hit a jellyfish, sorry dude. And all those tiny dots that you can see, those are all the brine shrimp. So their food is microscopic, literally, but it basically just floods the tank and they kind of just eat it. It's obviously so hard for you to see because they're so small, but if you can see on the jellyfish themselves, they're starting to curl up and that's all their feeding tentacles actually grabbing the brine shrimp and bringing it into their stomach. So their stomach are the four rings on the top of their body. You can kind of see them right here. They're four like half circles. So basically what happens is those just fill up with brine shrimp as they grab them kind of out of the water and suck them in. So all the jellyfish are turned facing the other way so I can't really show you, oh there we go. So those that like four leaf clover looking thing, that's actually their stomachs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a time lapse of them feeding or eating, I should say, going, and then we'll wrap up the video. <laughs> So the jellyfish are doing really, really good. They have responded super well to eating and I hope they do well. I mean, they're awesome so far. They're super cool and they're just something different to kind of throw into the mix here on the channel. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Once again, thanks for watching and good bye.